Hey T-Fam, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, hi, my name is Tamina. Thank you so much for clicking on this video because today is a very exciting one. I'm going to be exposing and sharing all my secrets, but like editing secrets for Instagram Reels. <laughs> So it's very exciting because it's in partnership with Google and that's even crazy to say because I can tell you guys for free, okay obviously for free, but I can tell you guys for free that every single thing I know about editing, every single edit I've ever learned how to do, I learned it on YouTube and that's just the truth and I love YouTube so much because it's such a creative hub, like there's so much free information out there and all I have to do is watch somebody's ads on their channel for them to earn a little money. I feel like that's a fair trade. So today's video is going to be all about a playlist I'm naming Tamina's Editing Secrets and it's specially curated for you guys, T-Fam, you know, um, for you guys to learn everything I know about editing. Doesn't that sound fun? Yeah, exactly. So I made the executive decision to divide this playlist into parts so you guys can literally pick and choose what you want to see, what you want to learn, and you don't have to struggle. So first, it's going to be all about pre-content content, what you do before the content, hence pre-content content. And then we're going to go into basic edits, basic apps, period. And then after that, we're going to go into now like crazy edits, like, mm, am I going to clone myself today? I don't know but you could always use my playlist and then after that I'm gonna show you guys how to use green screens this helps you add a little more spice to your videos like text and whatnot and then after that I'm just gonna show you this little trick I use anytime I want to color my video but I know that I don't have any skills to color my video so stick around okay so pre content content as the name suggests is everything you do before you actually film the content and I know everyone who's clicked on this video is either a content creator an aspiring content creator or somebody who just wants to edit people's videos for money. Either way, the worst thing you could do is get home or remove your makeup after a shoot day and discover that you didn't actually shoot the scenes that you needed or like you missed out on one very important scene that you needed to film and now there's nothing you can do about it. So to avoid all this, I discovered something on YouTube known as storyboarding. So storyboarding is basically where you take your visual ideas and then you put them on paper. You could draw if you actually have the talent and the skill and if you don't, like me, you could actually just put a few keywords to describe the details that you actually want to capture in this scene. And it's basically just outlining a goal for your shoot, the scenes that you're going to have for your shoot, and the end goal, basically, so that you don't miss out on anything. And I'm going to include two videos. One is a bit basic. It's just going to teach you what storyboarding is, how to do it simply, and yeah. And then one is a bit in-depth, like has like softwares you could use for the people who want to really go into storyboarding, then you could use that video. And yeah, that's it for pre-content content. content. So the second question I get a lot is what app do you use? What software do you use? And I just want to say this now, it's less about what app or software you use and it's more about what you can do in the actual app because what the other person is doing in the app, believe it or not, you can also do in your app, most likely, probably, 100%. But anyway, I'm not going to gatekeep. I'm going to tell you all of the apps I use. I have two integral apps they are always on my phone and on my laptop and on my laptop it's DaVinci Resolve because it's completely free and it works both on Mac and PC and then for my phone I always 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 have LumaFusion. I can delete all my apps but I will always have LumaFusion and YouTube. You know what I mean? So yeah that's basically it for the two apps I always have and then there are some apps that I use for very specific things like Video Leap and CapCut. But anyway, what I've done is I've included very basic videos on how to use all of these four apps in terms of basic editing. If you want to just learn how to cut and just do basic edits, honestly, you can just do the two apps, one on the laptop, one on the phone. And if you want to get into a bit more of like crazy edits, you want clothes flying around and all these things, but you want to do it very easily because I feel like you could do it in these integral apps, but it's going to be a bit hard. And here we're all about work smart and not work hard so I'm going to give you all the tips for all the crazy edits in the next one okay so now basically you know how to add text you know how to add music you know how to freaking cut footage and you're like when are we going to get to the crazy edits well we're here now so for crazy edits you want to create transparent stickers of yourself you want to clone yourself you want clothes flying around to have those very crazy reels you see people create on Instagram well, you're going to need the apps I was telling you about, either Video Leap or CapCut. I feel like Video Leap is really good for cloning when CapCut is really good for creating transparent stickers of yourself. You're going to make yourself like a transparent PNG, but in video form. And I have put videos for all these apps 
and I've put videos on how to clone yourself, I've put videos on how to make the clothes fly around, I've put videos of everything in this playlist, so just have fun, have fun, treat yourself, yes. <laughs> Okay, honestly, if you've already looked at the playlist and you're learning how to clone and how to make clothes fly around, you're going to need to know how to use a green screen. And don't turn the video off yet because I don't mean you go out and buy a green screen. I mean when you go on YouTube and you type green screen footage of this, this and that, you're going to need to know how to use that. So basically, if you want to add this really like cool text template, sometimes you want to add like some cool overlays, you're wondering how do people make these cool intros even for their channel where there's like a phone that comes in and then it's like going through their Instagram and then there's like cool text and there's like stickers going around and there's like just cool things are happening okay and you're wondering how do people do this it's green screens literally it's green screens and you're just gonna want to type in green screen whatever you're looking for type in the green screen version of that if you're looking to add like titles that are really cool like let's say you want a title that has like an arrow that points up and points what you're doing and then you label it just type in green screen titled trust me literally trust me if you're looking to make like a new cool youtube intro type in green screen youtube intros trust me and then you know what you're going to do with this green screen you're going to import it into either your integral apps either of your integral apps so is it luma fusion is it davinci whatever and you're just going to learn how to simply use chroma key which is where you go to your chroma tab your coloring tab whatever it is and what you're going to do is you're going to remove this green screen and you're going to be left with what's there. It sounds really hard, but honestly, just go to the playlist. It's really easy. I've put videos on how to use this green screen text and green screen overlays to make your videos a bit more spicy. So yeah. Okay, so let's say you want your video to be a bit more cinematic. You want the colors to pop. So you want to color your video, yeah, but then you don't have any editing talent when it comes to coloring or you just don't have the patience to sit through a how to color video because you sit through the first five minutes and you're like, what's this, please? So what you're going to do is you're going to use LUTs. And LUTs are basically filters for pictures, but now for videos. And you'd be so surprised, guys, at how many YouTube channels voluntarily voluntarily create LUT packs for free for free they just give you LUT packs and then you apply them on your videos and your videos look cinematic you look like you have years of coloring experience okay you won't look like you have years of coloring experience but honestly are we trying to look like we have years of coloring experience so of course I've done it I've included in the playlist all the free LUT pack videos that I used to learn how to download LUTs to apply them to my footage and to basically just make my videos look like cinematic masterpieces okay maybe that's a stretch but like when i just want to make my videos pop a little bit make the colors pop a little bit i just use my free cinematic lat packs and i've included all of them in the playlist and don't worry they're going to be applied in apps like luma fusion davinci resolve i'll even include some for adobe people because why not they're all so free and they're really good and easy to use and you won't even have to know how to color but your videos will look colored so yeah that's like that's like a big hack i remember when i discovered LUTs, i was mind blown i was like you're just giving us this for free that's why i keep telling you guys youtube is a huge learning hub and a place you can get so many things for free because creators are just like giving out stuff for free giving out information for free so yeah basically that's the last step I had we've done everything we know the editing basics we know the apps to use we know how to use the other apps when we want to have crazy edits like cloning and like you know clothes flying all over we know how to use green screens we can now make those bomb ass youtube intros and finally we know how to color our footage to make us look like we actually know how to color when we don't know how to color but who's going to know unless they come to this video and if they come to this video they're also probably going to use lots if they've never colored before so yeah basically that's the end of the video and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how i applied all this to a new project i have for a new client it was a laptop company and I did everything from storyboarding to edits and I think it turned out really cool. The theme was futuristic. We literally wrapped a whole couch in foil. Yeah, you're going to want to see this. I'm just going to give you guys a bit of behind the scenes and the result of the shoot. And then I'm going to end the video. But make sure to check out my playlist, Tamina's Editing Secrets. And thank you so much to Google for sponsoring this video. Guys, I'm so happy. Like, I can't, I can't believe Google is sponsoring. Okay, so.
So I'll see you in the next one. And if you have any questions, just drop them down below. And yeah, bye TFAM. Enjoy everything I did to achieve um, the project that you're about to see. Okay, bye. So for this shoot, I had already storyboarded like two days before because I didn't want to miss any scene, especially because I was shooting for a client. And my theme on my storyboard was futuristic. And that's how I ended up choosing this studio because it has a very futuristic feel. It has a wall that like caves in, it's all white. And the owner even came up with this idea to like wrap the entire couch with foil. And I thought that was perfect. So I was really excited to shoot and the storyboarding really helped me choose a studio because if I hadn't like identified a theme and known what I was going for then I would have maybe chosen a studio that didn't fit with my vision and that's why I think storyboarding is so important guys. Um, yeah so basically the shoot started we were just goofing around at first trying to wrap the couch which was really funny to watch because I was like oh my god I hope this comes together the way I want it to. Um, and basically after this we just started shooting each scene and i had planned how many seconds i wanted each scene what i wanted to do in each scene and that's what made it so much easier to shoot so as you can see here i had planned like a walking in scene i had planned a scene where i would take the laptop out of the laptop bag i had planned each and every scene i had planned the outfit so when you're storyboarding you want to just kind of like plan for all those details and yeah i feel like that's basically how much storyboarding helped because without it i would have gone home and i would have been so shocked that oh no i didn't film me taking out the laptop or something like that so yeah storyboard my video has not been approved yet um so it will be up on instagram and you guys can see all the crazy edits i put in holograms and so when i was planning for it i filmed in a way that i left space for me to edit in holograms and everything so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video bye t fam